Hey everyone, it's December 12th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with serial killer Richard Lawrence Marquette, who murdered at least three women in Oregon in the 1960s and 70s, and that is him right over there. Marquette was born in Portland in 1934, and after dropping out of high school, joined the army. The rest of his early years are lost to history, but it seems unlikely that he had a happy upbringing based on the end result. Marquette was arrested for attempted rape in 1956, but charges were dropped. He was first convicted of a crime the next year, being picked up for robbery, and after 12 months in jail, was back on the street. This was his chance to turn his life around, but he just turned to the bottle, drinking heavily and scraping by in life. He later told the FBI that he would often drink nearly a case of beer a day and still be able to walk. In June of 1961, he was drinking at a bar in downtown Portland when in walked a former elementary school classmate of his. A married mother of two, she spent time catching up with Marquette, and they decided to go bar hopping. They went from bar to bar, getting progressively drunker, and eventually took a cab back to his place, making out in the back seat the whole time there. At some point that night, he strangled her and carried her body to the shower, where he cut her lifeless body into pieces, later saying that he was so drunk he didn't remember why he did it. He took the pieces and scattered them around like he was the Johnny Appleseed of corpses, and a week later the body parts started to be found. Hunks of flesh wrapped in newspapers were first, followed by a cardboard box containing two of her fingers and some internal organs. The police quickly realized he was the culprit, and a search of his home yielded a duffel bag with more of his victim inside, but he was long gone. Marquette hitchhiked and bussed his way across the Southwest, even spending some time in Mexico. The FBI already had 10 persons on their 10 most wanted list, but added him as an 11th entry after he had spent three weeks on the lam, which was the first time the list was ever expanded. The very next day, he was spotted near Santa Barbara and was arrested and taken back to Oregon, where he led investigators to his victim's rotting head on a riverbank. He was sent to prison with a life sentence, and by all accounts was a model prisoner, so after 12 years behind bars, he was released on parole. Marquette found work as a plumber's apprentice and moved into a trailer park. But two years later, in 1975, his demons took control once again, and he strangled the 37-year-old mother of seven, dismembering the body as he had done previously and dumping the parts in the Willamette River, which is where Jerry Brudos, the shoe fetish slayer, had disposed of his victims in the late 60s. More about him in my video on January 31st. His victim had last been seen in a nightclub, and once it was confirmed that she had left her husband and children behind in North Carolina to begin a new life in Salem, Oregon, Marquette became a suspect based on the similarity to his previous murder. Just two days after the first pieces of the victim were discovered, Marquette had been arrested with evidence in his trailer discovered that linked him to the crime. He pleaded guilty to her murder and was sentenced to life in prison, and also confessed to a third murder that had happened the year prior. Marquette led the police to her remains, but her head was missing and the parts that were left were so badly decomposed they were unable to be identified, so she has been a Jane Doe ever since. Marquette has spent the last 44 years locked up in Oregon, and this time it seems he will never, ever be released on parole. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Richard Lawrence Marquette, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.